One of the philosophy public talk series that I'm particularly proud of and people have taken a lot of interest in and I've derived a lot of enjoyment from is called The Worlds of Speculative Fiction. Now, it started in 2016 as an in-person monthly session series hosted by the Brookfield Public Library. If you don't know where Brookfield is, it's a suburb of Milwaukee located to the west. And so we, we started doing this once we moved back here to, to our hometown of Milwaukee and the, the library was very kind to host us. We went on year after year until 2000 when COVID-19 forced us to take a little bit of a hiatus. And then we figured out that we could, we could do it online and that's what we've been doing over a series of months and probably will continue to do so until it's safe to hold in-person sessions again. And in each of the sessions, except for the very first one, which was sort of an introduction to the whole idea of the talk series, which at that time was scheduled just for one year, we, we talk about worlds and we talk about world building. So we're talking about narrative universes that can be found in works of authors spanning multiple stories, sometimes spanning a whole set of novels with spin-offs and and things like that and so we would do we'd spend a lot of time talking about that you know a little bit less time talking about character and plot more about the narrative universe and then we would talk about the biography of the author what they went through how they ended up writing the things that they did and we would go into several philosophical themes as well. And it was very participatory. Um, generally, I, I would tell people, hey, if you got a question, you got a comment, you want to make it, go ahead. I'll get us back on track. And so we had a lot of really great discussions over the years. Uh, a, a sort of cadre of regular attendees formed and, and would show up you know, month after month after month. Many of them gave some great suggestions for who we ought to do next. And you know, after the 2016 series, I was invited to come back for 2017, 18, and it, it just kept continuing from there. And I think that we probably have enough material that I could keep doing this the rest of my life because there are so many great uh, speculative fiction authors out there and so many cool narrative universes for us to explore. Um, like I said, the, the, you know, the previous iteration of the talk series was in the Brookfield Public Library. We pitched it to them originally and they were pretty enthusiastic about it. And the reason why, I, I wanted to talk about this a little bit, the reason why I pitched this series is, you know, I'd already done some talk series at other libraries in Kingston, New York and Fayetteville, North Carolina. And I, I wanted to continue doing that here in the Milwaukee area. So I thought to myself, well, you know, I've been getting back into reading fantasy and science fiction authors who I liked as a, as a teenager in my 20s. Wouldn't it be cool if I could do a talk series about that? And then I could indulge myself in what we call guilty pleasure reading, you know, go back and read some Tolkien or C.S. Lewis or A.E. Van Voigt, some of the first people that I, I did for the series. And think about what's going on philosophically in these, these stories, as well as talk about, you know, the world and, and all the cool things and get to chat with other people about it. So that's what I did. And the series, like I said, you know, 2016 got filled up very quickly. And then they asked, would you do another one? And I was like, well, there, yeah, there's lots of authors for us to get to. So the 2017, we hit on some other authors who I wanted to have in the first series, but didn't. And I got some recommendations from other people. And, and the series has kind of taken on a life of its own. Not only do I get recommendations from, from people who were attending the face-to-face -face sessions, and a lot of those were great things that I would not originally have come up with on my own, you know, like Ian Banks' Culture series, for example. Um, but we also had a lot of people giving ideas uh, over the internet, you know, commenting on videos. Hey, why don't you do uh, a series or a talk on this author or this one? And so I started to, a couple years back, 
put it into uh, towards the end of the year a vote. You know, give me your suggestions. Then I and I took authors who had multiple suggestions, and I made a, a sort of vote that people could participate in. And that's how I derived some of the other authors who I've, I've you know, been working on in the series. And so, as I mentioned, we had to shift entirely online after COVID-19. For a while, we thought that we might come out of it fairly quickly and then go back to face-to-face -face things as it became clear that COVID-19 was here for a much longer duration than we originally thought, um, I decided to try out a new format, which I think I began in, in August, where I would create a video and that, that video would premiere um, about an hour and a half on a particular author, particular text, particular narrative universe. And we would do live chat on the side. And then after that, we would have a Zoom session with video conferencing for those who wanted to have a more in-depth discussion. And, you know, we, it's not exactly face-to-face, -face, but we could at least see each other's faces. And so that's what we've been doing. So when you look at the series, the later ones are all just the videos that premiered. We don't record the Zoom sessions. Uh, that way people can, you know, feel free to participate in, in whatever way they want to. We should talk a little bit about what is this, this term speculative fiction because some people might say, well, I've heard of science fiction or I've heard of this kind of fiction. What's speculative fiction? So it's like a big umbrella term that covers a lot of different genres, which includes science fiction, includes fantasy, includes horror, but it spans a lot more as well. It includes what we would call supernatural and weird tales, which are kind of like horror, but maybe also like fantasy in certain respects and may involve some aspects of science fiction. It also involves alternate history or um, utopian and dystopian literature, apocalyptic and post-apocalyptic literature, what we might call mythopoetic things which often intersect with, with some of these, even comedic genres. You might think about Douglas Adams and his Hitchhiker's Guide series or Piers Anthony's Xanth, which is full of humor. Um, all of those fall under the rubric of speculative fiction. So any of them could be fair game for what it is that we're doing. The main, the main thing that we need is there has to be some sort of narrative universe that we can explore and some philosophical depth and themes that we can you know, identify and then talk about in, in the work. So I should talk a little bit as well about how philosophy connects with this. So a lot of these authors have actually read philosophy and sometimes are influenced clearly by different philosophers or have their characters talk about or think about things in philosophical ways, ways that are clearly indebted to philosophy. We can also use philosophy sometimes to illuminate what's going on within the narrative universe, the you know, uh, sort of second reality that, that's created within the novels or short stories or whatever they, they happen to be which sometimes bleed over into our ordinary, we call it real life uh, as well, and certainly proliferate through the internet uh, in certain cases, you know, with websites and uh, some of these authors engaging in blogging, explaining their works. So all of that falls within the ambit of what we talk about in, in this. The last thing that I want to talk about before I let you go on to enjoy the playlist of videos and particular talks uh, that you want to focus on is that there is a free online class that I created in the Study with Sadler Academy, which I'm going to be in the process of updating this uh, coming year. I, I, I created the class originally to support the talk series, but I think it's also a great locus for people to come in and check out the resources that are available in some sort of structured way. You can sort of pick and choose which authors you want to look at. So you might want to check out the free online class. Um, it's a, you know, a nice resource for people. As I mentioned, I'll be updating it pretty soon. So I invite you to take a look at any of the videos in this series, the authors 
who you're interested in, perhaps authors that you haven't heard of, and find out about the, the depth and the richness and the incredible intensity and complexity of the narrative worlds that these brilliant authors have created.